everyone and welcome to the movie set mystery. My name is Melissa Allen and I am the director of the HHS Drama Club and uh, the Performing Arts Program at the high school. I want to thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I do want to mention one quick thing, which is that our Facebook Live is not working at the moment. So the best way to watch this show, if you have people asking you, is to tune in on our Zoom webinar and we will post our performance later. But I'm so excited that you're here. I have to say that I am so grateful for the opportunity to make some live theater happen, even though we can't be in the same room together. Um, our students have been working so hard. Um, I am so impressed with how they continue to show up, they continue to stay engaged, um, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna wow you tonight. This is one of our first staged readings this year. We're gonna be doing several throughout, and if you're not sure what a staged reading is, a staged reading is just that. It's a staged reading of a play, so our actors have had limited rehearsal time. Um, they are still on book, and this is a chance for them to try out lots of different types of plays and for you to get a chance to see them work their acting muscles. Tonight's show is a movie set mystery, very fitting for our show almost on Halloween. I encourage you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie set mystery. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Molly Mad Money, the producer of Alien Ambush. As you probably know, this is the most expensive movie ever made. It is costing a million trillion dollars and will take 27 years to complete. We have hired all of you because we know that you're the best in the business and we knew you wouldn't mind giving up a third of your life to make the greatest movie ever, or ever made. We have called you today so that you can meet the woman who will review this movie, Billy Bile. Listen up. I'm the most famous movie critic in the world, and if I don't like this film, then I'll destroy it. One bad review from me, and nobody will see it, okay? All your pathetic little careers will be over. And since one of you has been disguising their voice and making threatening phone calls, I've decided to hire an undercover detective. Now. Get up and introduce yourself so I know who to ruin in my review. I am very excited to do an alien movie because I have invented a unique green goo that when applied directly to the skin makes her actor look like a real extraterrestrial. Unfortunately, it's very, very toxic. Um, if left on too long, the actor first becomes confused, then delusional, and finally goes completely insane. Um. I did tell you that, right? I teach actors all sorts of fighting. I'm an expert at sword fighting, karate, you know, punching like a girl. I was really excited to do this alien movie because we'd be using lightsabers or something cool like that. However, it turns out these aliens use thumbtacks to fight. They place them on a chair and then they run away. I think it's totally weird. Hi, I play the alien, and as you can see, I'm wearing the makeup artist green goo. My real name is, uh, um, uh, I forget right now, but I'm sure it will be in the credits. Uh, I mostly hang out with the child star because we're both at the makeup artist trailer for hours getting ready. Um, uh, who did they say was coming to the set today? Hi, I'm the screenwriter, obviously. I wrote the script for Alien Ambush, and trust me, it's absolutely brilliant. I can't let Ben Lee Bao give me a bad review, because I'm going to retire after this film. If I retire, I can finally realize my true dream. Writing school mysteries for school classrooms. That would be so much fun. I think I'll call my first one movie set mystery. Too bad there aren't any real murders, so I can get some ideas. I'm sure you all know me. I'm Johnny Cute, super famous, super adorable child star. I'm really upset Billy Biles is here because Biles said 
I am too old to be cute. I have to be cute. My whole career depends on it. I'm actually 23, but the makeup artist makes me look like I'm six. I also hang out with the caterer a lot because I love their chocolate. And come on, a face smeared with chocolate? How cute is that? I'm the caterer, and I cook the food for everyone that works on the set. It's hard because there are so many special requests. Like, the director and the child star love chocolate, so I have to keep 50 pounds of it in my trailer. Also, all the actors are obsessed with looking young, so I serve slivers of Japanese electric eel that makes their skin glow. They have to be careful because too much can be deadly. They can only have a sliver of it a day. Yup, I'm the scenic designer and I can make any landscape you can imagine. For this movie, I'm recreating the alien planet of Spitzkrok. It's a very wet place and requires lots of mud. <sighs> lots and lots of mud. Yup, I spent all day making mud and I'm always covered in it. It's in my hair, in my ears, and it's in my teeth. It tastes like I'm constantly eating a mud pie. I don't know what the scenic designer is complaining about because when you deal with animals, you have a lot worse than mud to deal with. You know what I mean. I have to shovel it all day and my boots are covered in it. And the stink. My entire family refuses to see me. I'm not even allowed inside the house. I've been sleeping outside in the garage for 10 years. Don't trust your eyes because everything I create may or may not be real. Like blood. I make the most realistic fake blood in the movie business. It took me five years of studying my own blood to create my secret recipe. It's impossible to tell it from the real stuff. I never reveal the, ah, I never reveal the ingredients, but I'll give you a small hint. It involves a lot of ketchup. I love being a movie extra. I've been in dozens of films. I'm usually in crowd scenes, so it's kind of hard to see me. However, in Avengers, you can kind of see my right arm. And in Spider-Man, you can see the back of my head. I watched the movie 16 times and brought all my friends to see it. In this movie, I play an alien and I have to wear some sort of green goo. I hope it's not too toxic. I make the most realistic wigs in the world. All the famous celebrities wear them. The secret is to use animal hair. Whenever the animal trainer is not looking, I go shave some from her animals. She uses suds and polish to make them shine. Look at my hair. Isn't it great? You'd never know. I shaved it from the sheep yesterday. I took this job because I like to order people around. When I was a kid, I'd yell, places, when it was time for dinner. And I'd yell, action, for them to start eating. And when someone was sloppy, I'd yell, cut. It really made my family crazy, especially when I used the megaphone. I make all of the costumes for Alien Ambush. Since the director insists that everything is, looks real and I have to sew the alien costumes right on the actors. They're really skin tight. Of course it's holding the actors because they keep getting stuck with the knee toes. Also, they can't take it off, so they sleep standing up. And showers? Forget about it. They're going to need a lot of deodorant. Mom, I'm the cue card holder, and I've been holding cue cards my whole life. As you can see, I have a bit of a problem, because my arm went into a spasm last year, and now it's permanently stuck in the air. People think I'm waving to them all the time. And let me tell you now, I'm not waving. It's really hard because I always knock my pillow on the floor. So I barely get any sleep. Thank you, everyone. Now, I believe our movie critic has some closing words. Billy? Well, now that I've met you all, I know this movie is going to stink. It's going to stink. Think worse than the animal trainer's boots. The question though is, where is the director? Where is that snake pirate? I want to destroy her career most of all. I'm going to get a soda and poke around your set until I find her. 
I know the director is always involved in everything. Well, Billy, our movie set is pretty huge. You better go with my assistant so you don't get lost. So everyone, what do we think of Billy? Do we like her? Do we not like her? How are we feeling? Oh, I haven't really gotten a chance to meet her yet because I don't want her to make fun of my boot stink. Mm, that's true. I'm sick of her complaining about every little thing on her set. She's so rude for no reason. She, gets she makes fun of my mud. Oh, gosh. Well, who could be disguising their voice and leaving threatening phone calls? Don't know, don't care, don't worry about it. Listen, guys, we have things to focus on. Like blood. Um, I honestly don't know, but the fact that someone is throwing threats and disguising the voice at the same time, that's brilliant. That gives me so many ideas for a new murder movie. I mean, come on. I honestly kind of think of an animal trainer. She smells so bad all the time. Could be. I don't know. Can't say much about Mademoiselle because as long as she likes my costumes, I have no problem with her. All right. Well, where is the movie critic? <laughs> He's dead. Dead. The movie critic is dead. What a mess. There's blood everywhere. We've got to get this cleaned up. I'm filming a movie here. Come on, everyone. Places for the alien wedding scene. Wait a minute, director. We can't go right back to filming. The movie critic's been murdered. And the weird thing is, you two look a lot alike. Folks, I believe it is one of you who killed the movie critic. And I'm going to figure out who did it because... I'm the undercover detective she hired. When she was receiving threatening phone calls, she hired me in case anything happened. I'm going to inspect the crime scene further, but for right now, I want to point out three clues that I noticed near the body. The first is that there's lots of blood. The second is that there's green sticky stuff around her head. The third clue is that there's some sort of brown substance smeared all over. With these three clues, I can immediately pull out eight suspects. So when I call your name, the rest of you should say, ooh. Makeup artist. Alien. Child star. The child The caterer. The The scenic designer. The scenic designer. Animal trainer. Special effects supervisor. Me? Me? And finally, the director. The director? I would never. To my not suspects. You are now my deputy detectives. You will help me question these suspects. Director to the stand. Why weren't you at the meeting? I don't have time for meetings. I'm in charge of the whole movie. I had to check the mud, I had to check the blood, and I had to check the goo. How do you feel about the movie critic? I didn't really like the movie critic. They've never given me a good review. He always called me a snake pirate. Snake pirate? Yep. It was the name of my first movie. Nobody ever saw it because of what she wrote. That will be all, director. Next up, 
Makeup artist to the stand. Didn't you say you invented a green goo to use as alien makeup? Yep, it's incredible stuff. Just have to be careful with it. Because it could kill someone. No, it's not poisonous or anything. Just make you a little crazy if you wear it too long. <laughs> Sounds like dangerous stuff. Nah, I always use gloves. What about the alien actors? Well, um, I, uh, did I mention I also do child makeup? Next up, the alien to the stand. Please state your full name. I can't pronounce it in your language. What? Stop acting and tell me your name. Acting? What's acting? I am a high alien from Spitzcrook. You better wash off that green goo. I cannot wash it off. It is secreted naturally from my skin. It protects me from the harmful rays of your planet. You're going crazy. Did you kill the movie critic? Maybe. I will attack anyone that gets in the way of my Earth domination plan. Yikes. Next up, the child star. Don't you get sick of playing a six-year-old? Not when it pays $10 million a film. Wow, what do you do with all that money? I buy lots of chocolate. Aren't you worried you're getting too old to be a child star? No, the makeup artist does a really good job. I'm also an amazing actor and I can change my voice any way I want. It must be hard to change it that much. Not when you're very talented. Hmm, next up, the caterer. What is the name of your catering company? S&P Caterers. It's named after my father and uncle, Sonny and Paul. Tell me about the Japanese electric eel. It's fantastic stuff. It really makes you glow, but it can be deadly. If you eat more than a little sliver, you'll keel right over. What about your famous chocolate? Is that dangerous too? Absolutely not. If it were, then the director and the child star would be long dead. They eat pounds of the stuff. No further questions. The scenic designer to the stand. So you've been making a lot of mud for this movie. Yep. And you're always covered in it? Yep. Did you hear that there was a brown substance smeared all around the crime scene? Yep. And isn't it true you hated the movie critic? <laughs> yep. So did you kill her? Yep. I mean, no. You sound confused. Yeah. Next up, the animal trainer. Would you please tell me? Oh, oh, God, P U. Sorry, it's all over my boots. <sighs> so, how do you keep your animals clean? Well, I invented this amazing product called Suds and Polish, or s and for short. It makes the animals sparkle. If it's so good, why don't you market it as human shampoo? No, it's very poisonous. If someone were to accidentally swallow even a drop, they would suffocate and die. What do you keep in it? Old soda bottles, but don't worry. It's thick, green, and sticky. I don't think anyone would drink it by mistake. Hope not. The special effects supervisor is next. You look a little pale. Are you nervous? No. It's just, for the past few weeks, I've been drawing a lot of my own blood. Why? To study, of course. I've invented the most realistic fake blood in the movie business. But you can't keep taking your own. Well, no, but it's hard to get that much blood from somebody else. And I really need it. I need to keep on perfecting my secret recipe. I thought you said it involved ketchup. Yes, ketchup and cherry syrup. But don't ask me to reveal anything else. Okay, calm down. Okay, we have questioned our eight suspects. Now it is time to make a few guesses. Who do you think killed the movie critic and how? I think it's the alien. He's playing innocent, but I don't buy it. Hmm. I don't even know who we are.
All right, well, everyone, we just got a report back from the crime lab that further identifies some of the substances found at the crime scene. The first report said that, says that the green sticky stuff found near the movie critic is some sort of body makeup. Now, who could have left that there? It has to be the alien. Look what he's wearing. Mm -hmm. I think it's the child star. He spends most of his time in there anyways. Oh, no, it has to be the director. She hated the movie critic. I mean, look at that guilty face. Mm. I think it's the makeup artist. So why else would there just be makeup lying around there? Very suspicious. The second report says that the large amount of blood found near the body is fake. Now, who could have left that there? Anyone got any ideas? Well, I think it's a special effects supervisor. I mean, it's in the secret recipe of yours. Yes. But we also have to look it has to be the director. I mean, they said they need to check the blood themselves. Very suspicious. Hmm. Sure. Anyone else? Yes. I would like to say that we're forgetting something. Green goo, fake blood, and a child. It could have been the makeup artist. Hmm. I mean, if you know how to do makeup, you can frame everyone else. Very true. Now, the third report says that the brown substance smeared all over was uh, possibly too gross to examine further. Sorry, guys. The lab won't touch the stuff in case it's, well, you know. Frankly, I don't want to go near it either. I need someone to go investigate. How about you, assistant? Why? Sorry. Please, just for me, please, please. substance is chocolate. Now who could have left that there? It has to be the child star. That kid is always eating chocolate in my trailer. Very true, very true. It's not me. The only other person that eats chocolate is the director. Hmm. All right. Well, oh, oh, everyone, everyone. Based on the latest evidence, we need to question some of our subset in more detail. Will the following people please get ready? Director, child star, alien, and the special effects supervisor. Now remember, we still have eight suspects. We will re-question these four, but the rest of them are not off the hook. Director to the stand, please. Is it true you're involved in every aspect of this movie? Absolutely. I don't intend to sleep or rest for the entire 27 years of filming. But why did he need to check the mud, the blood, and the goo? Because it all has to be perfect. Perfect consistency. This morning, I spent four hours pouring fake blood over the child star until we got it to drip the right way. Four hours? That's a little crazy. Crazy? This is my life. This movie is the most important thing to me, and let me tell you, nothing is going to get in my way. Nothing! Okay. Next up is the child star. Is Johnny Cute your real name? No. I hate my real name. What is it? Stuart. That's not so bad. My last name's Pid. Stuart Pid, what's wrong with that? Everyone used to call me Stu for short. Stu? So, so you were Stu Pid? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Stu. I prefer to be known as Johnny Cute, super adorable child star. 
Hmm, I guess. Next up is the special effects supervisor. Are you sure you won't tell us the secret ingredients in your fake blood? Never, but they're all edible. Well, at least tell us who helps you make it. You can't possibly make gallons and gallons by yourself. My cousin helps me with it. Who's your cousin? The scenic designer. I help her make the perfect blood and she helps me make the perfect, wait. I got that mixed up. I help her make the perfect blood and she helps me make the perfect blood. Hmm. You didn't tell us the scenic designer was your cousin. You never asked. Ever since we were kids, we wanted to work in the movies. Hmm. And if your movies got bad reviews? Uh, let's just say it would ruin two careers at the same time. Interesting. The alien is next. Okay, so we found out. I'm receiving communication from Spitzcrock. Please listen. We found out your real name. It's Sam Poole. Sam Poole? Yes. That, um, that sounds familiar. It's on your resume. Cool, cool. Hmm. I think you should wash that goo off now. Wait! <gasps> I'm receiving another communication from the mother planet. Oh no. Pool, pool of blood. You will all lie in a pool of blood. The earth domination plan has begun. <laughs> Two additional pieces of information from our crime lab, everybody. The first thing is, the cause of death has been determined to be from poison. The lab is not sure at this time what type of poison was used, it seems to be very unusual. Now, who could have used poison and how? Obviously, it's the Gatorer. She keeps on bragging about that poisonous chocolate of hers and SNB chocolates. It's too suspicious. Hmm. I definitely think it's the animal trainer. That suds and polish sounds really poisonous. Hmm. I'm honestly thinking it's the record. She has access to everything, everything that's dangerous and the eel from the caterer. So. Hmm, very true. I honestly think it's the child star. Even though they're only six years old, they still eat a lot of chocolate. Very true. The second piece of information is very important. It seems that when they moved the body, they noticed the letters SP. They were written in the pool of fake blood. Apparently, the movie critic was trying to tell us something before she died. What could SP stand for? It has to be the movie critic. The, I mean, it has to be the movie, that has to be the caterer. The company's initials are SMP, just hmm. like the blooded message. It makes sense. It does. It does. No, 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 no. It has to be the child star. SP, stupid, huh? I say it's the director. Remember what they said? Snake pirate, SP. Huh, all right. Well, oh, 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 everyone, everyone. I think you have it wrong. I think it's the animal trainer. Suds and polish, SP. Huh, well, I am pleased to say I know who killed the movie critic. We know that she was killed with poison. And the two suspects that dealt with the known poison were the animal trainer, who used suds and polish, and the caterer, who used Japanese electric eel. However, since the brown stuff found near the scene was chocolate, it had to be the caterer. Now, who else had access to chocolate? That's right, the director and the child star. They ate pounds of it. And while they were getting their chocolate fix, they could have easily taken some Japanese electric eel. Both of them had access to fake blood and could have planted it at the crime scene. They also both had access to the makeup artist Green Goo and could have planted that also. Finally, they both had the initials SP. The director was known to the movie critic as Snake Pirate. The child star's real name was Stu Pid. So, how do we know who is the killer? Well, 
it comes from an important piece of information that we learned early on. The movie critic was receiving threatening phone calls. He said that someone was disguising their voice. Now, who here bragged about their ability to change their voice? That's right, the child star. Child star or stupid, I'm going to ask you loud and clear. Did you kill the movie critic? All right, I did it, but the movie critic had it coming. She said I was too old to be cute. I've been playing a child star all my life and that was going to ruin it. I don't care if I'm 23 or 33 or 53. I'll always be a super adorable child star. You hear me? I am Johnny Cute. Well, by the time you get out of prison, I don't think you'll be able to play anything but an old man. Stay right where you are. The police are coming soon. Who guessed the child star? How did you know? Thank you all for helping me solve this crime. Thanks for coming out.